Hi guys, welcome to iMobi channel. It will be very frustrating when you want to open your Samsung phone but forget the pin lock. Getting in such a predicament, you must be eager to unlock it to make it workable again, right? No worries, we will show you a solution in this video. Let's get started. Before showing the tip, you may be curious about the Android lock screen and which one is the most secure, so let us talk about it in the first part. PIN code consists of numbers and could be a medium-high security in all kinds of locks. Some users set up their PIN codes based on their birth date or some simple code like 0000 so it is easy to guess. Password consists of numbers, letters, and characters. It seems that the password is high security. But if you set up a long password, it will be inconvenient. There are about 390,000 possible lock patterns on an Android device, which reported medium security lock. But it will leave marks on the screen and your pattern will leak. Because compared with iPhone, Android brands don't have full-fledged Face ID technology, some articles remind users to avoid using face recognition to unlock phone. Fingerprint seems to be convenient to unlock phone. But you need to know there are some ways to create a fake fingerprint of the phone's owner. So what to do if you forgot your PIN code on Samsung? Please check the second part. Before demonstrating the steps, please let us introduce DroidKit first. DroidKit is a complete Android solution for all Android issues, including data recovery, screen unlock, FRP bypass, system fix, data management, etc. With DroidKit, you can unlock all types of screen locks, such as pin, pattern, fingerprint, etc. What's more, DroidKit supports over 20,000 models of phones and tablets, covering all Android devices from different manufacturers. No root is needed, no tech knowledge is required, and you can unlock your phone in minutes with DroidKit. Now, let's show you how to do it. Connect your Samsung phone via a USB cable. Run DroidKit on your PC or Mac and select Screen Unlocker. Click Start and wait for the configuration files to be prepared. Then, click Remove Now and you will see the instructions here. Here are three instructions for different models. Choose the suitable one based on your device model and follow the steps. Power off your Samsung phone. Then, press and hold the volume up button and power button at the same time to put the phone into recovery mode. Then, press the volume down button to select wipe data and factory reset. Next, select Reboot System. The removal process will start automatically. When completed, your Samsung phone will restart. Set up your phone and you will regain access to it. If your Samsung phone is secondhand and sign into a Google account but you don't know the passcode, you will be stuck on Google verification screen, so what to do? Please check the third part. In DroidKit, select FRP bypass feature and connect your Samsung phone via USB cable to your PC or Mac. Next, after device configuration files are prepared, select your Android OS version. Follow the instructions in DroidKit to launch Samsung factory mode. Connect to stable Wi-Fi and back to the welcome screen. Tap on emergency call and enter the code. Then, DroidKit will bypass FRP lock automatically, you just need to wait for a while, and done. 
When completed, your Samsung phone will restart automatically. That's all tips, thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.